welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! On Earthquake and Storm Watch. Yes. And Polar Bear Watch. <clears throat> Gotta watch out for those polar bears. Okay. First of all, I would like to congratulate Vince G for being the very first person to comment on the neighbor's video for 2016. <laughs> I love MSM and DOF. Glad to have you back. Don't leave us again. Mando N, welcome to the neighborhood. Selena Brett, welcome to the neighborhood. Beirut Zero Zero, welcome to the neighborhood. Toya Cook, welcome to the neighborhood. Jess Gleave says he's been watching us from the beginning, but I think this is the first time you may have commented on us. So, Thank you for watching us from the beginning. Welcome to commenting to us. Happy 20th birthday. And your team Val, so you rock. Yes. The real king of YouTube. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ginger Blue. Welcome to the neighborhood. Star Wars lover. Welcome to the neighborhood. Did that name come before or after? The first three, the second three, or this one? Gary 200, welcome to the neighborhood. Amanda Bijou, welcome to the neighborhood. And Houston BBY, welcome to the neighborhood. Annie Creasy, thank you for watching every day. It really does mean a lot to us, and I'm glad that we can make you smile. Beach Lovin' Aussie, their daughter Tessa's fur baby, Mitty, was struck by a car on the 31st. So please say a prayer for Mitty and for Tessa and her family. Sad. That's why we don't let them out of the house anymore. Yeah. The Abyss. Possible problems with a torn rotator cuff. So thoughts and prayers go out to you that you do not have a torn rotator cuff and that you do not need surgery. So thoughts and prayers and if the community can also send you thoughts and prayers as well we would greatly appreciate that. Greg Myers, um, thoughts and prayers, sorry for the loss of your dog Tater. He's going to be making a video um, in honor of his dog Tater and putting it up on his channel. He will let us know when that is up and we can let everybody else know so they can go and pay tribute to Tater. And as you all know, we lost Sebastian the other day, and uh, we put a little tribute up um, for Sebastian. And also to let you guys know, we are no longer going to be putting videos up on the zoo channel, the Neighborhood Zoo channel. We're going to be putting them up under a playlist on the Neighbors channel yep. called the Neighborhood Zoo. So you won't have to go to a separate channel to watch the, the Neighborhood Zoo any longer. You can just go to a playlist and watch it. So, okay. So that's what we got there. Um, my last week's question was, what is your New Year's resolution and how do you plan on keeping it? Okay. Maple Poon. New Year's resolution is better at saving money. But he didn't say how. I would like to know how because I do have a problem with saving money. So, yeah. Betsy Wetsy. To start living life once again and be the woman I once was. 
you know, that's what I said when I had my surgery, and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Kaya Stoll. I don't do New Year's resolutions, but my goal is to, to decrease my stuff by half. I am purging my house of stuff I don't need. So, that that is a good thing to do. Um, we're actually kind of doing that as well. We're cleaning up and uh, selling stuff that yeah. we don't need, mainly because we need the money, partly because if we do move, it's less stuff we have to move with us. We get a lot of stuff. So, yeah, we do. Pete Price, get house repairs done. We're with you on that page, Pete. Nikita Johnson, decorate my house and to try harder on things, not to give up when things get tough. Yeah, I would say that's probably a good one. Mm -hmm. That's probably a good one. Um, we have already discussed that we don't usually make New Year's resolutions. Do you No. have anything you want to throw no. out there? No. No. I don't make New Year's resolutions. Um, last year I did a thing with Rocky and Rich when they were vlogging. And they did, I don't remember if it was a three month or a six month goal. Um, but I liked that idea. And it wasn't a New Year's resolution. It was short goals that they set for themselves. And um, then, you know, they once they hit that goal then they set themselves a different goal and then then so on and so forth mm. so I, I liked that idea so i'm i'm doing that and you didn't know this but um what i am doing is i am making sure i get up in the morning every morning and i feed the animals so that kevin does not have to Thank you. And um, trying to take a little bit of that extra off of Kevin. And um, I'm going to start adding a little bit of extra chores away from Kevin um, every week. So. Good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Try yeah. to make so when I get a easier. job things just aren't going to get done otherwise. Right. Right. And my hand is, you know, it still hurts to do certain things, but there's some things I can do, so. Okay. My question for this week is, what is the biggest winter storm you have ever been in? Now, when I say winter storm, I don't it only mean snow. It can be rain, sleet, hail, snow, ice, etc. Whatever type of winter storm you have where you live in the winter. What is the biggest winter storm you have ever been in? There you have my question. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <laughs> I had to think with about that. Kevin. Okay, so last week's question was about the movie from 1980. 1980, it was called Terror Train. Uh, and the question was, what, what mask was used in this movie? It was a bit of a, a, um, a trick question. And because there was several masks used, uh, the main masks was um, a, a Groucho Marx mask which you see throughout the beginning. But uh, the killer also wears a witch mask uh, and some sort of lizard alien mask. Uh, they also, if you do the research, it says that he wears a bird mask, but we just watched the movie. I don't remember him wearing a bird mask. But what the, the, the theme of the movie is... Oh, somebody had a bird mask on when they were walking from one... Well, so one of the, uh, the murder some... victims had a, had a bird mask on. But it didn't cover the face, and um, that was one of the important things about the murder. You never, never knew who it was going to be. However, the, 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 the concept of the movie is whoever 
got killed, he then assumed their personality to kill the next one, and he was killing everybody who was involved with um, something that happened earlier in the movie. Plus, they killed a couple extras that, um, eh. So he, he dressed up as the, a lizard alien, a witch, Groucho Marx. He dressed as a monk, but uh, wearing the witch mask. Um, and he also dressed up as a brakeman and a woman. So I'm not going to say any more about that because it's the whole plot. I don't want to give too much of the, of the um, plot away. And those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Barut, Zero Zero, Abyss 92882, Tanya Longley, and Chrissy S. And today's question, uh, I had a hard time finding one. It's driving her crazy. Uh, I was trying to stay with Winter Storm kind of theme, so I went after the two biggest movies that happen in the snow and the winter and the cold, that being The Shining and um, the, um, the Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, 1982. And I couldn't quite find anything, because um, I used The Thing so many times. I had thought I had an answer, but she said I used it already. So here it is. Here's my question. It has to do with the, the, the prequel remake of The Thing. It's called The Thing, but it's really a prequel. It, it's what happened in the Norwegian uh, camp before the first one. It, it actually was supposed to happen in 1982. And they do something in the movie that solves a question in the, the original movie. That is, who at the very end of the movie was still human? How did they solve that? And what did they use to solve it? How did they solve it? And that's on the prequel. On the prequel. Okay. That answers the question on the original. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you next week.